Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll do a little bit more of a raw video on a project I have coming up. Welcome back to the channel guys, I am Eric. In this box of mess is the makings of my upcoming portable education system, a classroom in a box. I've mentioned this on the channel a few times and I've been throwing all the components in the corner and slowly amassing them while it's time to get building. So long story short, I wanna take a case like my FPV ground station you saw in a previous video and turn that into a portable classroom with lots of stuff inside. And here's the core of it, the beginnings of it. I've got some Raspberry Pis, Raspberry Pi camera. I even have the Pi 3, which we'll do a test in a video, hopefully next week. You can take these, add them all into the case with all the other peripherals, and let's have a look and see what else we got. So in the box, this is an ancient old uh, Android tablet, resistive touchscreen, real piece of junk, but it might be really handy to have in the case. We'll find out. It, it might have its own uses. In the back of the case will be the onboard monitor. This is an LED monitor with HDMI input. It'll accept everything from the Pi, no problem. It should be really good. This is a... Sourcing Bay brand, <laughs> right off of Amazon, guys, nothing special. This is gonna be one of the keys to the project. You saw this in a previous video. This is the Pico projector, so I can blast what I'm doing on the Raspberry Pis out on the wall or on a screen. Some audio systems to have on board. Good old dollar store special. There's another dollar store special. We'll see what we do for speakers and what we wanna do with this. I'm not sure yet, but these are committed. The MK809 Android stick. This is also HDMI powered by USB. This allows you to have an Android operating system and works great with the projector. Uh, takes up no space, no weight. Why not? Throw it in the box. All the cabling related to the projector. Nothing too crazy here. You saw this in the projector review video. Some earphones. Bluetooth adapter, don't need that for the Raspberry Pi 3 now, but it'll work good for the 2s. Webcam, can't go wrong with having that. I also have the Pi Cam. This will be really cool for doing microscope projects. This is a USB microscope webcam. It actually works quite well. I'm, I'm impressed. So I'm going to give this a try with the Pi. I haven't tried it yet. Hopefully it gets along with the Pis. And if you wanted to take a look at the structure on a leaf or any like uh, surface texture, stuff like that. We can do this in the classroom. Wireless keyboard and mouse. That's just the charge wire. It just works over, I believe this one's a 2.4 gig version. Nothing special, but definitely works good. You can stick that right in the case and then also take it out and use it to control it remotely if you're projecting for people in a classroom. Various other power supplies. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the charging on board. I'll have lead acid battery on board and hopefully we can get a decent run time out of it. And then I'm going to try and build the charge system and voltage monitoring and all that kind of cool stuff into it. Uh, we'll see where it goes. It's going to be a fun project. Well guys, this is going to be a little fun to build up. I hope you enjoyed this kind of more raw video back to a throwback to previous days on the channel. I'll try and get this uploaded tomorrow. Good luck in all your projects. Remember, share things out with the world. You never know who it's gonna make a difference for. It's whatever project you've got on the go, idea, pictures, throw them out there. It might inspire someone. Cheers, guys, love you all. Throw a like, subscribe, all that brouhaha down below. I'll check you out next week on the next live show. Cheers.